Hello friends, uh, welcome to Data Pandit. So today we are going to talk about map as a data type. Uh, it's a composite data type in Abini show. So it's uh, important actually. It's very efficient in processing. Basically, that's when uh, I try to uh, you know uh, talk about it. So there are two concepts uh, while storing the values in the in any particular data type, right? So whenever you, specifically whenever it's a you know composite or key value pair things happens right or as array or associative arrays in other programming language so dense and sparse so whenever we see you know vector types in ab initio let's say so vector are you know indexed from 0 to n minus 1 okay so they are in consecutive the keys would be in consecutive consecutive values of 1, 2, 3, 4 and minus 1, right? But uh, uh, that is called as, you know, dense, uh, dense, uh, you know, storage structure, okay? And there is a sparse. So, there is this values of, you know, it would be scattered like 1, 5, 9 or maybe negative and it could be non-numeric value like, you know, also, I mean, so, but within a particular map there could there would be a, a single you know type of you know key, key single type of values of okay. so it could it could cannot be you know, you know heterogeneous keys it's, it cannot be okay so but it is sparse actually okay so so uh, yeah that's called you know map so and the other thing is uh, the values are getting stored as a key value pair in the map and if you want to decide the map length of the map then you know how many you know number of uh, you know key value pairs are there would be its length of the map okay so so map is basically is you know one dimensional array actually okay and it cannot have null value that is also one more property okay cannot have null value Okay. So how we are going to declare the map? So the thing is like, uh, so this is a complete, you know, vector declaration. So the value type, what type of values its uh, you know map is going to hold? What could be the you know type of key? And what is the you know uh, what are the different fields are going to be uh, you know act as a key? within a vector within a map and whether it's a sorted or not okay so this property is again so let's uh, see few more few declaration basically so this is a symbol of declaration wherein we have value of as a string and key is a type of integer and all the fields uh, for a map is going to be behave as a whole key specifier actually so all the fields there in the uh, you know map is going to behave as a key and the name of the map is country okay now now so let's say i have a i have a map which is you know uh, which is a set of countries basically and they are numbered you know keys are like let's say it's numbered so it could be like uh, five as well you know five let's say uk okay so first india second usa five is uk okay so first is the you know it's a key okay if you want to refer the uk then now will you do it we can refer uk countries five okay likewise um, we can have a you know vice versa we can have you know these country names right these non uh, these string values as a you know key as well so how we will declare this it's a different i mean integer type of you know values and string integer is a key okay and the countries okay all keys is key specifier all keys okay and uh, we will have like as we want to re refer second element we can refer you know us as a key because we have a you know string as a key country itself is a key but values are one two like that okay so and uh, if you want to specify the sorted as well then there will be a sorted okay the key would be you know uh, you know store as in sorted fashion and uh, 
the by default is going to be you know ascending so if we want to uh, you know spe explicitly specify the modifier then we can specify key modifier basically then we can specify its descending within the uh, this uh, middle bracket okay now so we want to refer it so uh, map to map lexity you know so this is the key value using key we can refer a particular map so there is a one more concept which is very very important basically with respect to processing of the map is the, is the serialization of the map so we talked about uh, map right so why we uh, why it is getting introduced basically because it's a it's efficient in processing so mostly we use in reformat rollup or you know these uh, multi stage transform components basically to to process uh, you know a lot of records and to to hold the values you know among, within the records or like that within the component processing okay but the problem is i mean uh, we cannot uh, have a map you know declared in the dml type in the port we cannot specify directly map okay and also the map cannot travel uh, you know through over the flow with uh, you know between components component to components it cannot flow actually as a type of map so what it what we do is uh, we, in the port what we do is we we specify equivalent you know length prefixed vector actually so it should be equal to map actually equivalent to map so that we specify in the port to hold the hold the values of the map okay and uh, to to make it travel as well okay it can you know vector we know it can travel therefore we, we use the vectors you know to hold them in the port and make it travel to the next component okay and then we can uh, try process, processing the vector depending upon the requirement and uh, second part is continuous flow so why we uh, i talked about continuous flow is in the continuous flows what happens is let's say i have a component and uh, the graph it is running in continuous mode and uh, we have a checkpoint after that particular component okay and uh, checkpoint arrives i mean uh, we have a you know checkpoint came actually not there in the graph because uh, it's a different it's a it's not a batch so it's a checkpoint comes in the flow okay so the, my checkpoint cam and then the you know the the for the recovery purpose values should be stored actually so the map whatever map we have used in the components are going to be stored as a as a vector type you know it will be serialized and stored in the vector type in the disk okay so whenever the replay happens in the case of recovery the same you know serialized in the vector form would be reconverted into the map and then getting used okay so this is happening okay now deletion if you want to delete any particular key value pair uh, specify the key and you know assign it to the null so simple so you know that key value pair is going to be deleted now initialization of the map so there are a couple of not couple of there are three to four things uh, how we can you know uh, three three ways three four ways you know we can uh, you know initialize the map so first thing is use the simple constructor like we have you know in the other types and also if we have a you know prefilled uh, map values so we can assign directly while declaration okay and uh, we can use allo allocate with default okay and third like we can use the vector iteration okay in the in the you know iterative way like we do in the vector like while assigning vector we assign element by element right we can look through the vector and look through the uh, you know number of elements and then assign element wise element okay we can we can use the key map name okay and key and we can assign the value one by one okay let's say we are assigning like the key or whatever let's say i i'm sending iteration i plus one or that we can assign again okay, right or I can use basically the four constructor. Okay. Now conversion. So how we can convert a particular? Let's say this is a vector, okay, and I want to convert it to the map, equivalent map. So what is going to happen is that 
I will use the map. So this is the how we declare a map, right? So I can just typecast it. So I can typecast it and it could be converted into the map. So now let's see, uh, let's see, I mean, some example, you know, simple example basically. So what I could, uh, you know, I mean, think of and it's uh, easy to uh, walk through the example. So the example I have is like, uh, I have an two fields, inputs are A, A, A like this. And in the second field, I have B, C, D like this, okay. And uh, my, uh, I can, uh, you know, uh, hold these values in the, uh, this DML and uh, my output is expected is like A is coming <coughs> five times, okay. Likewise, B is coming two times. So A is coming five times in the sense of uh, irrespective of field, whether it's in first field or second field. So all the total values are five, right? For the I, B there are two, okay. Likewise, D we have two, C two, and E one. So this output is expected. So first thing comes in mind is like uh, whenever we have you know an aggregation process, we will think of roller. But how we are going about for the across the fields, right? So what we are going to do is I would declare one map, <clears throat> okay. And uh, I would I would take the input file and then roll up and roll up with the empty key is going to be my net component and the transform of the roll up is going to be like this, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm collecting uh, I have declared this global uh, map type, okay, map data type, and I'm going to hold the values, okay, whenever it is occurring, okay. I'm I'm not I'm using the fields. Okay, field one, field two, both for the, both the, for a particular record, I'm using, uh, you know, two, two assignments, okay. So in the roller, <clears throat> let's say we are processing number record number one, record number number one is A, B. So A can first define, so earlier because um, variable map A, right, so there is no, initially there is no values, okay, in that, <clears throat> no values, but if, any key right so this is going to be written as zero for the first record so for the first record after processing the first record my variable map a would be one because we i'm adding one okay and and for the variable map B because F2 I have B and I do not have B type earlier. So the first time, the first defined is going to return as zero for a particular key, okay? And next time, because roll up, we have a null key, okay, empty key. So it's going to be processed again for the second record. For the second record, I have AC, right? So for the second record, record I have AC. So we, I have variable map A is one as of now. So this is going to return as one, this one for the second record and A and is going to return as one, right? So one plus one, two. So variable map A become two after processing second record. And uh, I have second is C. So I don't have C, okay? So variable map C, and we are seeing uh, the C as the first time. So this is going to return as zero, and my variable where map C is going to be one. Okay. Likewise, we are going to process. Let's say we have come, I have values like A and A, okay? So both the, you know, variable map A, variable map will be incremented for that particular, okay? So likewise, we are going to, you know, process, you know, in the roller. And finalize what we are going to do is, uh, my output code of the uh, of the roll-up is like this serialized vector basically. So whenever we specify, uh, you know, map type in the uh, in the port, we uh, encapsulate into the record actually. So record within record we do, like we do in the vector uh, scenario, right? So I have, you know, uh, I have a record within record and I have declared, you know, this is a kind of map, let's say. So key value pair, I have a, 
have declared. So what is going to happen is to my uh, this variable map, which is I have you know I have declared it as a, this type, right? String string as a key and value as a uh, value as an integer, right? So this is going to be uh, so it will hold all the values. Okay, you can try it. I have tried it. Okay. And uh, then again, I am going to process uh, all the things uh, through, uh, you know, uh, through through the normalize, so that you know we a value and count we are going to, uh, uh, you know, going to uh, uh, map basically. So length of vector, uh, length of sorry map, and then I would be assigning you know value and count, okay, one by one. So normalize processing you all, know, right? So the more my output is going to be achieved using this one. So this is a simple use of map. So thank you so much. Uh, thanks. Uh